Celebrated. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait a minute. Back to the story, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so old Pete here and his dad are driving along. We hear this real funny sound. Many people feel more happy, confident, and relaxed when they're drinking. The alcohol seems to relieve their tensions and gives them pleasure. These pleasant feelings may begin soon after alcohol enters the body. <laughs> to another great weekend. The alcohol in even one small drink is quickly absorbed. When it enters the brain, it can give a pleasant glow. To try to maintain or increase this pleasant feeling, some people may drink again and again. Oh, 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 oh. Did you see that? <laughs> Come on, Sandy, baby. Hurry up. I'll give you a hand. While Sandy is enjoying her drink, the alcohol entering her body is starting on a long and complex journey. First, the drink enters her empty stomach. Within minutes, some of the alcohol is absorbed. The rest passes into the small intestine. The alcohol flows over a deeply folded, absorbing surface. These folds are covered by many small projections called villi. And each villus is covered by even smaller projections called microvilli. Alcohol dissolved in intestinal fluids moves between these tiny projections. The alcohol becomes trapped in the projections and absorbed in the cells. Next, it passes through the cells into the blood capillaries beneath them. From these capillaries, the alcohol-laden blood flows into the larger blood vessels of the intestine. Next, it flows into the network of intestinal veins. Finally, the blood is carried from the digestive organs to the portal vein which runs to the liver. Inside the liver, the portal vein divides repeatedly down to the microscopic level. In this way, many special capillaries called sinusoids carry blood to the liver cells. Inside the sinusoids, two kinds of bloodstream join together. One carries oxygen, absorbed from the lungs. The other carries alcohol and other absorbed substances from the digestive organs. Some of the alcohol is oxidized and removed from the blood at a steady rate. But the liver cannot immediately remove all the alcohol passing through it. Therefore, most of the alcohol escapes unchanged into the veins leading out of the liver to be returned later for oxidization. The alcohol-laden blood is transported from the liver to the heart. The heart then pumps it to the body and the brain, where the blood alcohol starts to take effect. I'm really blown. I'm with you, Sandy. 
I see before me. <laughs> Rick's brain, like everyone's, is a kind of living computer. It is made up of millions of nerve cells or neurons connected in tremendously complex networks. A person's entire life depends on how these interconnecting neuron circuits work. What exactly is a neuron? The neuron is the basic component of the brain's data processing capacity. It is a single unit, a living cell, supported by other living cells. It has a cell body, several hair-like processes called dendrites, and a longer fiber called the axon. Some axons are sheathed in insulation, some are not but all axons end in synapses, that is, contacts, with other neurons. A neuron communicates by responding to messages or signals. Incoming signals may make the neuron transmit its own signal along the axon toward other neurons. The neuron behaves like a living electric battery. It maintains a small voltage difference across its membrane, positive outside relative to negative inside. When pulses of energy arrive, they may trigger a kind of short circuit in the membrane. Positive ions stream into the neuron, and more negative ions appear outside. This brief discharge drives an electric pulse, the action potential, along the axon toward the synapses. There are two kinds of synapse. One contains excitatory chemicals, the other inhibitory chemicals. When an action potential reaches an excitatory synapse, it releases molecules that create a current through the membrane and excite the neuron to fire. An inhibitory synapse releases molecules that tend to prevent the neuron from firing. <laughs> Both processes occur continually in the brain. Inhibition, excitation. Excitatory signals can make the neuron fire vigorously. But small doses of alcohol can make the neuron fire much less vigorously. And large doses can stop it completely. In other circumstances, inhibiting signals can prevent a neuron from firing. But if alcohol reduces the inhibiting signals, the neuron may start to fire more often than it should. This is called disinhibition. Once again, Large doses of alcohol can prevent firing completely. What is true for one neuron is true for all. Alcohol can affect millions of nerve cells and can change communication patterns throughout the brain. It can also disturb specific brain functions. Alcohol can affect vision, distort hearing, muddle speech, impair judgment, dull the body's senses, disturb motor skills, and reduce coordination. And deep inside the brain, alcohol can affect the areas that control aggression, hunger and thirst, pleasure and pain, body temperature, and sexual activity. People react in many different ways to the effects of alcohol. Gee, is it ever hot in here? Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, it's good. Hot. Check out the love birds. Hey, you two. Another drink will pull you off. <laughs> yeah. But we're gonna dance. Okay. 
The central core of the brain can be affected by alcohol. It may trigger the vomit center and may disturb the center of alertness, the reticular activating system. Normally, when there is no alcohol present, the reticular system receives signals from brain and body. Its response is to send out wake-up signals to keep the organism alert. But this process can be seriously disturbed by alcohol. The alcohol may decrease the incoming signals and may depress the reticular system itself. If the system is depressed too much, it may fail to maintain alertness. Stupor, sleep, or coma may result, and the brain closes down. I don't feel good. Rick! Oh, Rick, come on. Marie, come on. Listen, you guys, I don't feel good. Let's get out. Oh, come on, Sandy. Come on. I think we better get going, eh? Oh, what's your hurry? It's almost two o'clock. So? Hey, look, there go the girls. Come on. I wanted to dance some more. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, well. I can do it myself. Hey, fellas. What is it? We're Good night, Natalie. Hey, come on. Come on, get come on, up. Come pal, let's go. Wake up. Come on, come on, come on. Party's over. Let's go. Come on. Hey, you better let me drive, eh? No way. It's my old man's car. I'm driving. Hey, take it easy, man. You're going to be blowing up balloons for the cops. Okay. Sandy? Hey, watch it! Hey, don't yell in my ear, man. Geez, you're on the wrong side of the road. God damn it, go off to the side of the road and let me drive before you kill us all. Keep your shirt on. We'll make it okay. Got you home safe, right? How the hell you did. Where are you going? That's Sandy's home. Me and Maria will walk from here. Oh, come on. Get in the car. I'll drive you home. No way, man. Not after the way you drove up here. Come on, Marie. Suit yourself. Bye, Sandy. See you later. Chicken. Don't feel well. I'm going to go to bed, okay? What? Are you going to be okay? Hell yeah. Okay, bye.
feeling. Mm. Breakfast will be ready in a few moments. Copeland. Sort of. Oh, God, I feel awful. I'm not surprised. But you were lucky. You could have been killed in a crash like that. Is anyone else hurt? Just you. And my leg. Is it broken? One small fracture. And your father's going to need a new car. Is he away? There was no one in when we phoned. Yeah. God, insurance and cops. I don't know what the folks are going to say when they get back. Sorry, lights out. Oh, okay. Is your bed all right? It's fine, thank you. Okay, good night. Good night. Hey, Doc. What's with him? Well, he's a very sick man. Yeah, but what's wrong with him? He has a badly damaged liver caused by years of heavy drinking. The alcohol has badly scarred his liver and caused cirrhosis. The same thing applies to his brain. Because of this chronic drinking, his brain cells have died prematurely and his brain has shrunk. Well, uh, what are his chances? Not good, I'm afraid. He's already had several bad seizures. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. And take it easy. Thank you. Hey, Sandy. Hi. Hi. How are you? Okay. Hey, you ready to leave? Oh, you bet. <laughs> you look great. Thank you. You too. Here she is. Oh, yeah. You okay? Fast. Yep. Careful, Blake. I'll just put my shoe on. I'd like to hold on to you, but I'd better hold on to you. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Thanks. Comfortable? Yep. Dr. Daniel Weiner. I can will this thing. No way. This time I'm driving. <laughs> Suit yourself. Despite the serious liver or brain damage caused by years of heavy drinking, just a few drinks, and a car can kill or cripple for life. Dr. Dr. Edward Adelson. 